Hello, my friends. Have you ever imagined being attacked by thousands of red crabs at the same time while walking on the road? Some people think it only exists in fantasy movies, but this is completely true when you come to Australia. The red crab is an invasive animal native to South America and introduced to Australia in the 1980s. Since then, this type of crab has flourished and adapted to the Australian environment, creating a population of more than 200 million animals and causing a series of problems for the lives of Australians. In today's video, join us on Christmas Island in Australia to see how Australians deal with hundreds of millions of red crabs. First, let's find out how this red crab reproduces. Red crab populations reproduce by laying eggs, and this has contributed significantly to their rapid growth. Adult females in Australia are capable of laying thousands of eggs each year. Now, you are witnessing a horrifying scene. Millions of tiny red crabs are crawling on the ground. They are so numerous that from a distance, we would think it was a red velvet carpet rather than a herd of crabs. Have you wondered why the red crab population has increased so quickly and so much that they have become invasive animals? There are some reasons. First of all is their ability to reproduce quickly, allowing them to mature in just one year and can start laying eggs after about two years. Second, the red crab population is also well adapted to the environment and it can survive, live, and adapt in many different environments, including urban environments. Finally, red crabs lack natural predators. They can reproduce rapidly to increase their population without inhibition from predators. In fact, since the early 1990s, a predator of red crabs has appeared, weaver ants. According to experts, ants often kill red crabs by spraying acid at their opponents, then gradually eating them. But after a while, people found many methods to eliminate weaver ants, and since then, red crabs no longer have many dangerous predators threatening them. This causes the red crab population to increase rapidly. So can red crabs be eaten? I know you will wonder that because their appearance is very eye-catching. It is a fact that, despite their large numbers, red crabs are not considered edible, at least not by humans. Because, according to scientists, their bodies contain a special type of toxic formic acid that can damage the intestinal mucosa if ingested. According to statistics in 2022, live red crabs are distributed in many different areas of Australia such as Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, Western Australia, and South Australia. However, there is an island in Australia known as Red Crab Island, which is Christmas Island. Christmas Island is called Christmas, but it has nothing to do with Christmas. Christmas Island is world famous for its annual Red Crab migration. Once a year, at the end of the year, October through December, when the rainy season weather helps them move more conveniently and easily, tens of millions of red crabs migrate from the forests of Christmas Island to the coast of the Indian Ocean to start a new breeding season. Each crab must cross a distance of 8 kilometers within 9 to 18 days. The reason they can travel such a long distance is because when the breeding season comes, Red crabs secrete a lot of crustacean hyperglycemic hormones that help increase the amount of glucose in the blood, 
ensuring enough energy for the journey long process. Last year, an estimated 63.5 million red crabs left the forest and migrated to the coast to mate and reproduce. Christmas Island's mass migration of red crabs is one of the most astonishing natural processes on Earth. However, things are not that simple. On their migration route, red crabs invade all roads, seriously affecting traffic and the environment. The shell of the red crab is very hard and can damage the tires of cars or other vehicles. Every time the migration takes place, they disrupt the lives of people on the island when thousands of red crabs crawl carefree on the roads, through golf courses and even in houses. On the roads, all over the country, in entertainment centers and parks, there are red crabs everywhere. This is a video recording many crabs appearing in front of an office building. In another situation, people in the drum site area on Christmas Island were trapped in their homes when millions of crabs flooded the streets. Red crabs have turned their lives upside down. However, it is important to remember that red crabs are a protected species and it is illegal to harm them. So how to prevent the invasion of millions of red crabs? When the first red crabs appeared in November, Christmas Island authorities had to immediately stop traffic and close roads to keep them safe. In Australia, there are many workers who specialize in cleaning red crabs. These workers are responsible for arranging their paths and warning people whenever they appear. And sometimes, workers will use specialized tools such as hoes, shovels and rakes to make the red crab move as desired. In addition, a very effective method that is also used is to build obstacles in front of red crabs. Human infrastructure is the biggest obstacle to crabs. Specifically, Christmas Island officials have built plastic barriers or walls along the tracks to keep crabs from overflowing. In 2021, Christmas Islanders even built an overpass just for red crabs. Many people wonder, how does a crab know which path is reserved for it? Animals are actually quite smart, and they constantly evaluate risks along the way. So this is probably a better alternative to avoid red crabs being crushed by giant vehicles. After two years of testing, Australians are proud to say that the initiative to build an overpass for crabs was very successful and helped reduce traffic congestion for islanders. Christmas Island red crabs are exclusive to Australia to maintain the local ecological balance. This country attaches great importance to protecting the red crab. Its existence can well protect the ecosystem and protect the earth. Therefore, people never kill crabs, but only try to find ways to limit their encroachment into people's lives. And most importantly, red crabs are not just harmful invasive species. Unlike wild boars in the US or wild birds in the UK, Red crabs are animals that attract tourists and bring economic value to Australia. The image of red crabs covering bridges, cliffs and roads from the jungle to the coast in the national park is a mesmerizing moment. Do you wish to one day go to Christmas Island and witness the exciting migration of millions of red crabs there? Please leave a comment right below this video. Remember to share, like and subscribe to our channel and see you next time.